This is a Squeeze podcast. We're your shortcut to being informed. Squeeze Kids! It's your daily news fix. Fun, free, fresh. Hello and welcome to Squiz Kids Today, your fresh take on what's happening in the world around you. I'm Amanda Bauer. It's Wednesday, May 4. In Squiz Kids Today, a sister's rescue mission to Ukraine, the water bubbler tree, 104 marathons in 104 days, and sniffing out truth in the election. That's what's making news, kid style. The lowdown. Sometimes siblings can be a pain, but when you think about it, the love between brothers and sisters is pretty strong and pretty special. It can even send you into a war zone, like Queensland woman Zoya Olepia, who has just helped rescue her brother Victor from the war in Ukraine. Victor has Down syndrome, a genetic condition that can cause intellectual disability, and Zoya learned that he was hiding underground in the city of Kharkiv with no food and no water. And so she hatched a plan. She got in touch with Victor's niece, who also lives in Ukraine, and the brave niece went into Kharkiv and picked up Victor, even as bombs were exploding nearby. As soon as Zoya heard that her brother and his rescuer were heading towards the Polish border, she grabbed just her passport and some money and went to the airport. She said she couldn't stand another sleepless night waiting, so she went by plane, then bus, into Ukraine to find her family. There are photos in your episode notes of Zoya and Victor after they crossed the border safely into Poland and then got onto a plane home to Australia where Victor and his niece will start a new life. They are two of the 2,400 Ukrainians who have arrived in Australia since the start of the war. Some are lucky to have friends and family here, but others don't, and could even be arriving with just the clothes on their backs. Imagine that. Spin the globe. Each day we give the world globe a spin and find a new story from wherever it stops. And today we've landed in Montenegro, where a fountain of water is gushing from the middle of the trunk of a 100-year-old mulberry tree. If you look at the video, which is in your episode notes, you'd be forgiven for thinking this woody water bubbler was special effects trickery. But it's a real, natural phenomenon. Old mulberry trees like this one in the village of Dinosa often have hollow trunks. As the winter snows melt each year in Montenegro, underground springs become flooded and the pressure of the water forces it to rise up the tree's roots, fill that hollow trunk and then gush out the first available hole. Nature really can be quite magical. It's Wednesday, time to welcome Squizzy the Newshound back into the studio. Usually, Squizzy sniffs out misinformation on the internet, but this week he's been talking to fact-checkers on the federal election campaign trail, and they've been very busy. A fact-checker is someone whose job it is to research things that are said in the media to see if they're true. And when we're in the middle of an election, with all the candidates making lots of claims about the great things they've done and will do if elected, and the terrible things the other guys have done and will do, it is very handy to have impartial, which means unbiased, experts investigate. Squizzy's bookmarked a few different fact-checking websites, the links are in your episode notes, and he's learned that the leaders of all the major and minor parties have made claims that jumbled facts. As usual, it's important to stop, think, and check. Thanks, Squizzy. Sport time. You know what a marathon is, right? It's a running event where the finish line is a distant 42.2 kilometres from the start. Most people train for months to run just one marathon. 
Then, if they're anything like me, they spend a lot of quality time on the couch or at the physio recovering. But a woman in America has just run 104 marathons straight over 104 consecutive days. Not only that, but Jackie Hunt Brosner, who is 46 years old, got bone cancer when she was 26 and had to have her left leg amputated. So she's run all those marathons on a prosthetic or artificial leg. Amazing. Jackie said that when she first lost her leg, she was angry and embarrassed. She even wore long pants to hide her prosthesis. But six years ago, she decided to try running. And at the start of 2022, she decided she wanted to break the Guinness World Record for the most consecutive marathons, which was 95. That was achieved by a woman with no prosthesis who ran as a coping strategy during lockdown. Jackie said she wanted to show the world what a person with a disability was capable of, and she's definitely done that. Over 104 days, Jackie ran in official marathons, on her treadmill, on dirt paths, and around her neighbourhood. The Guinness Book of Records is now reviewing her stats. So how did she spend her first day not running? She was planning for a 386-kilometre race she's running later this year. Unstoppable! There's a link to an interview with Jackie in your episode notes. Prepare to be inspired. Time for the quiz. This is the part of the podcast where you get to test how well you've been listening. Question number one. What kind of tree has water gushing out of it in Montenegro? That's right, it's a hollow mulberry tree. Question number two. How far is one marathon? That's right, 42.2 kilometres. And question number three. What did Zoya Olapia take with her to Ukraine? Yep, just money and a passport, but she came home with her brother. Shout out. It's May 4, Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. I like to give presents on important occasions like this one, so in your episode notes, you'll find some cool Star Wars maths activities. You're welcome. It's also a special day for these Squiz Kids celebrating a birthday today. Mia from Ballarat, Evie from Forest Lake, Zachary from Maroubra, Josephine from Narara, Daniel from Queen Beanne South Public School, Cameron from Wheelers Hill, Abby from Yass, Alexander from Quirindi, Wilbur from Wodonga, twins Ruby and Stella from Sydney, and Eric listening all the way over in Gdansk, Poland. A belated birthday wish goes to Olivia listening in China. Classroom shout-outs go to Class 6L and Ms. LeRae at Lakes Grammar Anglican School in Warnervale and to Year 4 Blue at Catherine Laboure Catholic Primary School in Gaimia. And it's a happy birthday to their teacher, Mr. Zagami. Don't forget, if you've got a birthday coming up and you want a shout-out or if you want a classroom shout-out, drop us a line at squizkids at thesquiz.com.au. That's all we have time for. Thanks for listening to Squiz Kids today. Bryce will be back again tomorrow. In the meantime, get out there and have a most excellent day. Over. Over.